For more than a century, Daryl and Lydia Haynes' families have raised crops and livestock among sandstone outcroppings of the Cumberland Plateau in eastern Coleman County. Today, the couple farms alongside their sons, Ben and Bart, while passing along their passion to yet another generation. My dad was a carpenter. His father was a carpenter, but daddy loved the farm and his daddy bought that little sand rock when he was 15 from his dad. And his dad bought it from his father-in-law. So Ben's children are seventh generation there on that sand rock. So that's real special to me. Darrell admits production agriculture was the furthest thing from his mind when he enrolled at Auburn University in the early 70s. I didn't know what I was gonna do but I knew I wasn't gonna be a farmer. I couldn't stand that thought, but I couldn't wait for the weekends so I could come home and help dad on the farm. And uh, it became quite obvious that they, it was deep in my blood and, and in my genetics and I couldn't, I couldn't get away from it. Lydia, on the other hand, longed for the cotton fields of her youth while at Auburn. Though both were from Coleman County, it took a college blind date to introduce them. While farming hasn't always been easy, Lydia credits diversification for the farm's longevity. When Daryl and I first married in 1976, we faced two significant years of drought in the late 70s. And um, couple that with a grain embargo, we didn't know if we were gonna make it. There's been struggles over the years. Um, cattle were the commodity that we had then that kind of bailed us out of trouble. Then grain prices would succeed and cattle would, would fall down. Uh, but diversity has helped us survive. It also helped earn the Haynes family recognition as the Alabama Farm City Committee's 2023 Farm of Distinction. As this year's winner, they'll compete with stellar operations from across the region for the title of Sunbelt Expo Southeastern Farmer of the Year. Haynes Farms, headquartered in Fairview, encompasses about 4,000 acres and includes beef cattle and 1,500 acres of row crops. The cattle operation, we really span all segments. So, so we're cow-calf, we'll calf between six and 700 mamas annually. Uh, we wean and background all of those calves that we raise. Typically, our product is a eight to 900 pound feeder calf. And of course, we sell those in load lots uh, that are bound for, for feed yards, you know, north and west of here. So about a third of our ground will be in corn, uh, a third full season beans, and then a third of our ground will be planted in wheat that we, that we will follow with beans. A lot of our wheat gets harvested with a cow. Uh, we'll take a lot of wheat to combine as well, but a lot of ground that we'll come back and plant a summer crop on is also the land that we're grazing feeder cattle on in the winter. The Haineses practice conservation tillage on their row crop land and employ GPS technology to improve efficiency and productivity with soil sampling, fertilization, spraying, and harvesting. Ben's wife has also begun marketing 30 to 40 head of cattle a year direct to consumers. Whitney started the direct gate to plate market about a year and a half ago. And that is something that Daryl always dreamed of, being able to sell um, our product directly to the public. We just never made that happen. But Whitney is uh, amazing and uh, she, if she has an idea, she can bring it together and make it happen. Ben and Whitney's six children are also involved with the farm, from helping with the retail store and feeding cattle, to raising their own 4-H pigs and riding tractors with their grandparents. Lydia, who worked 44 years as a registered physical therapist, often can be found cutting, raking, and baling hay alongside Daryl. How many women in this world have the opportunity to work with their husbands, work with their sons side by side and look can look back at the end of a day and say, goodness, what a job well done. And there's so much satisfaction with that. As a physical therapist, I could see my patients improve 
and I could get the gratification of something accomplished. And on the farm, it's the same way. Um, I mean, there's probably people in this world that go through life and never see the fruits of their labor. Well, we see the fruits of our labor every day. The calf crop, uh, the wheat field, um, the soybeans growing, uh, the corn tossling. For Daryl, the crops and livestock are daily reminders of God's sovereignty and the blessing of family. Oh, there's nothing that, that that I deserve any honor about. Uh, you know, I've just got to be a caretaker for a little bit of God's stuff. And he gave me Lydia, and he gave me Ben and Bart, and uh, gosh, they're such fine men, uh, such hard workers. I couldn't, I couldn't do what I've done without Lydia and without Ben and Bart. Alabama's 2023 Farm of Distinction, Haynes Farms of Coleman County.